Here we are, Long Beach and Alondra, in the heart of Compton, California. And we're still trying to interview people as we speak to see how the people feel about the uprage. Fat, stanky-ass Gypsy Michael is saying he's the king of Compton. And sir, you say you're a racer? You do know the Gypsy Michael? You oh, know the yeah. Gypsy crew? Oh, yeah, I remember them back in the day, man. They used to come out there and watch us get down. They know the crew, shock therapy, all of us, you know what I mean? Is that right? Have you ever had any duels with the gypsies? Oh yeah, we used to kill them off back in the day, man, when they had their little Mustang crew. But it's not, and I see they upgraded and went on to a Chevy, but now they back and forth with a real horsepower at. They still garbage, though. Wow. What do you feel about this new thing? He said he's a king of Compton. If he was in Compton, do you think they would bow down to him? Or what would happen if he came amongst the people of Compton and stuck out and said he's the king? What do you think would happen? Not at all, Flair. They're giving Mustangs a bad reputation right now. They need to start going out there raising rabbits and selling boats and stuff. Because uh, racing nowadays ain't their thing, man. They're just doing it for the fun of it. Well, word on it is that, you know, they have this new car. It's a Camaro with a Ford motor in it. You know, what does that say about anything? Where does he stand? He had one foot on a Chevrolet symbol, another foot on an oval. He's just a cross-dresser. I mean, why don't he just go on and just take over it and be like uh, Little Richard or somebody and just come on out the clouds and let him know he's a gay racer? <laughs> yeah, it seems like them, them cats is TSs or something, man. They need to stop that bullshit and get one or the other, you know what I mean? Because Mustangs, be ready to give up on them. They, they out there doing that fake shit. They squeezing a little bit here and there trying to set it on the motor. Now they putting Chevy motors in Ford, Ford motors in Chevy. They need to hang it up, man. This why is it you retired? Well, I retired, man, because I had to get back with my fan fam. Things got kind of rough out there. Some of the big guys came in, kind of like the D-Boys, started taking over the race game. So, you know, we can't get out there forever and do our thing. So far as you know, other than Little Ron, Fast-Ass Tyrone, is there any other Kings of Compton? No, no, no. They originated in my nigga. They still the Kings of Compton. That's how it's going down right now. All right. Thank you, man, for your time. And once again, it's Fast-Ass Tyrone. Television catches on YouTube when we'll be talking about them. Hey, sir. You heard the, we have a problem here. We're just doing an interview about the new king of Compton. There's a guy named Gypsy Michael. You guys know anything about that? Not at all. Okay. All right. Hey, I just.